Hi, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about Blender 4.2. Let me show you one of the new features, one of the new resources available for Blender 4.2, which is the ability to import 3ds Max files. Yes, you can import 3ds Max files. Now, this is something that was almost impossible to do a few weeks ago with Blender 4.1. Unless, of course, you ask someone to open that file with 3ds Max and export uh, the data into OBG or FBX. Or, of course, if you uh, install and get 3ds Max yourself. But now we don't, uh, we don't need this. You can import Max files directly to Blender. And I have here two files that I'll be using to demonstrate how it works. Uh, it's... a uh, two uh, simple models, two chair models that you can use for any purpose. And how can we install that a new add-on? If you go into the edit in Blender 4.2, if you go into the edit preferences and look here into get extensions, I already granted internet access to Blender. If I search here for Max, you will see that we have import Autodesk Max as an option. I have my add-ons selected, and if I hit the install button, it will download and install uh, the add-on from, uh, from the official repository. If you don't need or don't want to use this add-on anymore, you can easily remove it using this button and hit the uninstall option. Now, if we go into, uh, if, uh, if we open the file, import Autodesk Max. Uh, option or uh, subfolder, you will have an option or the import uh, group, file import group, you will see that we have an option to import Autodesk Max, file, Max files. Let me remove all of those elements and try the add-on. If I open here this option, As you can see, we have here the two files. Let's start with this one here. This is uh, about 17 megabytes. And one of the challenges here to import those files is that I do not have any idea about the scale. I don't know if the person that created the, uh, both of uh, any of those files, if he used uh, inches, millimeters, meters, anything. So I will leave this as one and we will try to get uh, or make uh, apply any fixes or scales to fix any potential problems with the scale. So I will hit the import. It will think for a while and here we have it. It's a 3D model. We have, you can see that it created the data. We have the names of the elements uh, used in 3ds Max to create this uh, chair model. But we can see anything. This is probably because it's uh, quite big. You can see that from the location, it's showing here 19 kilometers as distance. That's because it's probably quite big. So I will press my home button on the keyboard and here we have it. This is the model. We can, you can see that the clipping plane, it's cutting the file. Let's press the A key, S, and let me apply a scale of 0 0.001. Just type that on your keyboard, press enter, press home again. And here we have the file or the 3D model. Let me see if the scale is uh, a uh, it's, uh, it's better. Yeah, it looks like this is the correct scale. So this is one of the models. This was a 3DS Max file. Let me erase this model and, and let's try the other one, the bigger file. Let's go again into File, Import, Autodesk Max. And let's try with this one here. And now let's try change the scale here to 0 0.01 in case it, uh, it uses the same scale. So Import Max. It will think for a while. Let's press the home button. And this time it didn't work, but sometimes it's just a matter of creating a new file. Let's try that again. And I have here my second file. Let's try to import it. 
press home and it's probably quite big so i press the a key s 0.001 home and here we have it the other file this one is quite it's really away from the the location is uh quite away from the grid plane here of blender but the main point is that it works you can uh, easily import 3ds max files into blender so if you have any uh, project if you are migrating from 3ds max to blender know that you have access now to a uh, tool to a resource that can uh, easily uh, give you uh, a way to import old project files and if you get a uh, a 3D model, an asset, or a library that uses 3ds Max files, you can import it to Blender now. I hope you like the content. Uh, if you like the video, if you find it useful, please uh, subscribe and like the video to help me create more of those tutorials. See you next time. Bye.